Hey everybody, it's the Coach. This is a special edition of the Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. Up next, we've got a good one on tap between the visiting Houston Texans and the New England Patriots. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Houston Texans and the New England Patriots. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest, you'll take the week off, get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. championship game off we go in the divisional round of the nfl playoffs that's fielded in the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line so now the patriots getting set to take over on offense they're led out by a man who started more super bowls than anyone in nfl history the great tom brady i can't help but admire the career tom brady has had the numbers are off the charts the super bowl championships and rings we know that they are incredible but how about the durability had one season that he missed most of that season because of a knee injury the rest of the time he answers the bell and wills his team to victory more times than not and we keep hearing from people who are waiting to see the drop off in his play. I quit worrying about it. I quit looking for it. He says he wants to play until he's 45. Is there any reason to doubt him? His skills have shown no sign of declining. A gain of six there on first. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. On second down, here's Brady. To the right side, and he's got Elmer. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. Brandon, I think we can see early on, they're making a concerted effort to get him the football. So to me, that means they like the matchup that they have. They feel like he's better than the guys that are covering him. Two plays, two passes. We'll see if they go back to that well. We got three, we got three, 20! 20! They'll run for the first time with Sean Michelle. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves Wait, creases like they were able to exploit right there. They'll run it here. This is James Wayne. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Throwing on first down is Brady. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. J.J. Watt. In there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50 right at midfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, 
His pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man. He just a whole lot of guys. He is well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And now out comes Houston. carry for Lamar Miller. And not much there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Back to throw. Watson underneath for Miller. And he's able to get this one up to the eight-yard line this time. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll be third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. Here's Watson, dumps it complete to Miller. And they'll get him down up past the 15. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So, second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So, if they can get him going to the passing game, it should open up his running game, too. Obi Miller, Fon Wu with the tackle. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back in. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's Texans football as we get going in quarter number two. They've got a second down and eight to start things out. Play action for Miller. Now Watson rolling to his right. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'd open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Off of play action, it's Watson. They'll roll him out right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Jonathan Jones that time, the one who got a hand in, knocked it away. Started to look like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A very good return there, give him an even 20 yards. And the Patriots take over. Brady and the Patriots now, first and 10 at the 41 yard line. 20. And he gets the on the ground. It's right. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Over the middle, Julian Edelman. It's complete. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right Wait, away Wade. where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. That wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage. Knew where the pressure was going to come from and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. J.J. Watt in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. 
Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Now White. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Tackle made by Whitney Merciless. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On third and long, it's Brady. It's got up the man, it's Gronkowski. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, he finds Big 87. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. The Patriots into the red zone for the first time. It's first and 10 from the 12. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. Back with more AFC playoff action after this timeout. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. Now Brady. This will be caught at about the six. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. By 20! By 20! Again, they'll throw with Brady. That's his call. Touchdown, Patriots. Philip Dorsett from six yards away. And the Pats able to cash in for six. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the offense heading back onto the field. And you look at the numbers, not only has he not caught a pass, they haven't targeted him yet, and we're coming up toward halftime. And you remember our meeting with the coach beforehand? What did he tell us about him? I write his number on my play sheet, and I circle it in bold, bold type, because I want to make sure he gets the ball and often. They'll start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. And they'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Watson, off play action. And incomplete, the contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Watson going to stay out there as they'll go for it on fourth. They are going for it. Here's Watson. That's George running back complete. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. So shall we say a bold decision to go for it, and that bold decision does not pay off. And when you're talking about bold, you're saying all caps? All caps. Yeah, without a doubt. Maybe you're telling your defense they have a lot of faith in them. I mean, that's how you have to spin it, is that you tell your defense, you know something? We were able to go for it there because you guys are so good. I'm not worried about things. That's the only explanation I can come up with in this situation. Well, he better get ready to spin it for that post-game presser because you know he's going to be out. He's going to have to spin it for his own locker room, frankly. 
Brady now on first down. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here at half number one. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Shotgun now for Brady. And yeah, this is caught. It's Edelman. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Again, it's Brady. And a dump off to White. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Wait, we got Brady now on third and goal. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. As they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So now on fourth down, on comes Steven Goskowski to try and get the patch three. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Koski's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Final 10 seconds of the half as they've got it first and 10. They go play action here on first down. Flush to his right. Now he's going to let it go deep right sideline. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. A final shot before the break. Watson dancing to his left. Now he's going to throw deep back over the middle. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup as we'll get you down the coast or an abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Win or go home, that's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. Let's field it at the two. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Here's Watson being chased out there. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. That's something we have not seen him do to this point, and that's take the ball, tuck it, and run. Exactly right. His first carry of the game. I guess he picked a good time to do it. He certainly did. Not only did he have the element of surprise, reset, reset, he's reset. making sure he's judicious in taking off. A first down carry now for Miller. That's going to go as a loss of seven, and it'll set him back for second down. 
You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense? There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Houston. A big play there. 71 yards. And the Texans draw a bit closer. So what did you say earlier, my man? You said one big play away from getting back in this game. And guess what? There it was. Yeah, we talked about it. That despite the scoreline, they were that close on the road. And boom, there you go. Well done, Nostradamus. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be Offense. frank about the whole Offense. thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in the contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Exactly. I don't know about that. that. Super tall. To throw is Brady. Rush coming in. He's taken down. Lindy Merciless leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Now Brady throwing on second down. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly Ooh. right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Miller. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. All right, Brandon, you know me as well as anyone. You know I don't usually advocate abandoning things during a game, but here we are in the second half. I think it's time to change things up. Let the running game go a little bit. Let's get to the passing game, and if you still want to get in the hands of the runner, maybe you swing it to him, throw it to him a little bit. Try it that way. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. And give him a gain of 37. <laughs> On first and 10, Watson. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. He's to the 10, and he's all the way down to the six-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, 
And I believe it does reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. They get it to him running left. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. To throw on second is Watson. Flushed in under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards and take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to move the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get a lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play, third and goal. A shotgun snap for Watson. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 20. The drive starts with a run by White. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And it'll be first and goal seven-yard line. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the ball over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. Cut. Following the fumble recovery, Watson steps away to his left. Under pressure now, he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Kyle Van Noy able to get in there and drop him behind the line. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. He's going to get it running right. Yeah, he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He lost four there, and it's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he's got it. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. DeAndre Hopkins from ten yards out. And the Texans use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. Man, he just ran a terrific route. Extremely hard to defend when it's run that precisely and the ball's delivered that accurately. Extra point by Fairbear and up and good. And that makes it a 17-10 score. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be it. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And the Texans scoop it. And first and goal is what it will be at the six-yard line. Excellent field position. Partner, I don't 
don't care how long he plays. Anytime there's a fumble involving Tom Brady, you think the Raiders are involved? <laughs> you think the Raiders are involved? You think it's snowing? And immediately you hear the words, tuck rule. And now the tuck rule doesn't exist anymore, but that always comes back up with Tom Brady, doesn't it? It absolutely does. Even here, even now. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A great play there. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. They had the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And several days ago, you and I talked with a couple of guys in the meetings about how big is home field advantage. And they kind of downplayed it a bit, but I think we're seeing here today building up this lead. Looks like they're going to win. Why home field advantage in the divisional round so important? Yeah, they may have downplayed it, but we could also sense that it was important to them because nothing has to change. You don't have to uproot anything. Sometimes when you're going on the road, you may have to even leave early in order to get acclimated if it's going to be a tough environment against the team you're going to play. So being at home was a big deal. But now they know, at least they feel like it, they're moving on to the championship round. There's got to be no better feeling. They'll get that 24-hour roll in. Enjoy that before they look forward to the next opponent. Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady. This is Lee on the screen. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. New England on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Wait, 20. Green 80. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. Brady. And yeah, this is caught. It's thrown by Gronkowski. And out across midfield down to the 45. The time to pull out the stops is now. And they convert there on fourth down. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play on the football. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. By 20! Ready to throw again. To the sideline. <laughs> That's well done. Able to drag the feet. He's going to have the first down. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case. Down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance. Got a man complete. It's Chris Hogan. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Now Brady again. Goes underneath here to White. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. First down now, but that clock rolling. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Fighting his 
safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it second and short. Throwing now is Brady. Going for his running back, and he's got him complete. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Brady. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. To throw is Brady. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now we think we're trying to dial up our third goal. Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now Brady got to have this one. Toward the pylon, caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Rex Burkhead, a five-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are back within a score. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> The Texans offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive helmet. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell too deep with that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Throwing now. Watson escaping. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Now the Texans have earned the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Gonna need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? Now it's Watson. Hopkins on the ground over the middle. And now we're gonna get a timeout here called by the defense. As they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Black 22! Black 22! They will indeed snap it to Watson. He'll buy some time right. And no! It's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Patriots defense is going to take over on down. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know? and, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And that's the play that picked by Matthew. 
few that will seal this football game. The Honey Badger does it again. And I think one of the best nicknames that's ever been given. Just so inspired. He may not care, as Honey Badgers don't, but he understands how to get around the ball, and he just sealed another victory. How do you know about the mental psyche of a Honey Badger? That's always been the expression. The Honey Badger, he doesn't care. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. And they're moving on to the conference championship. How about this? What a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Unfortunately for the other team, a tough, tough way for it to end. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.